I like emerald because emeralds are green and I'm green too. Emerald sat next to Sasha Keeble. I don't write poems, I write raps. I'm honest, it's PG sitting next to novelist. There we go. <laughs> It's a bit weird with the live audience, isn't it? Hi. What's happening? A lot of good stuff's been going on. I'm about to launch a new show on Rinse, which is called Afters with Emeralds. <laughs> and, I'm actually uh, so yeah. excited for that. The concept is based on an afters, right? Which is where you go after the party, which is actually where me and Sasha have bonded quite a lot of the time. <laughs> uh -huh. Sasha, what have you been up to? I've been making music. I've been writing a lot. I'm going for a breakup. It's dead. Anyone feeling heartbroken? No? OK, cool. It's meaning that I feel like I'm about to write my Adele 21 album. What you know, what have you been up to? I've been going berserk in the studio, man. I produce most of my own music, innit? So... Do you? I've just been in a space where, you know when you're just not even thinking about the music industry, but you're just making music? That's the best space I to be that. as a musician. What about No Weapons, though? There was a music video which has just come out, which is also a short film. And I was very moved. Thank I you. cried three times. Cheers, man. And it's like a what, a four minute video? Predominantly, most of the cast is from Lewisham. Like, it's people that I grew up around. The story is basically not dissimilar to things that I've witnessed. I'm happy that we put out a good message. I'm chuffed that people are receiving it well and, and being moved. I'm meant to get on something of pros for his project. Yeah. yeah. Do you get me, blood? These two were literally like little kids downstairs. Like, what was the, what oh, was the melody? Oh, I can't remember. Nob's <laughs> <laughs> like, listen to how sick I am. Listen to what I do here. <laughs> no, that was a beat. And I'm like, wow, like this confidence is so sick, but I am living for it. Do you know what? For the first time ever, I've actually taken time out to make music without releasing it. I did three albums in four years when I came out. Whoa. And I was, you got to think, after the first single come out, I was on the road. What was the very first single? The first single that popped properly was I Need You Tonight. Do you know I how old I was when we live. met? It was at I Love Live. Oh, and you, Yeah, and I was 15. Yeah, that was just pre-everything That's happened. 10 years ago. Bloody hell. Can yeah. I confess something? I'm not even going to say all that. <laughs> when I was at school, I used to have an Oyster card wallet with your face on no. it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget it. I didn't even know they existed. Wait, oh up. So yeah, I knew, I'd tell, I knew I'd tell you it one day. I feel like recently, in my breakup state, I've been trying to meditate more and look more positively towards the future. Can we clap for Sasha quick? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that a lot. And it's something that I've never done before. And I'm like very open about the fact that I struggle with like anxiety and depression. I was raised Catholic. I, now I just say I'm spiritual. You went to a Catholic school? Yeah, it was bad. Was Brit school Catholic? No, babe. <laughs> anyway, like what I'm saying to myself every night before I go to bed is I trust the process. My mantra going, going into this year was patience and perseverance. This year has been so much easier just by way of going, OK, things are not happening exactly how I foresaw them happening, but with that patience, things have actually ended up being a lot better. Every single year, when it's New Year's and everyone's making their resolutions, I make two lists. One of them is all the good things that have happened that year, like all the highlights. And then the second list is all the things that I want to happen in the next year. I shit you not, every single year, pretty much eight out of ten of those things have happened. I think it's really important to write it down and recognise it and say it out loud and, it's, and then and you're always conscious it. of it. Yeah. If you focus on only the good things in your life, mm. that's what you realise is that's your reality. But if you focus on all the negative things that try to creep in your life, then you're going to come into like, agreement with them. People like you saying that is going to help a lot of younger people believe that and know that a lot earlier. Exactly. Yeah. I think when we talk about the future, and life being so short, what's the point in just staying in one lane when you could try so many different things and one of those might stick and feel better than the other one? I think everything's opened up now. and People feel a lot more freedom to, to be who they are. What are you saying about the future, Nov? I only expect good things. You're super I positive, though. So much. His, your Twitter is like an inspirational catalogue. Anytime I see your tweets, you're like, this is going to be great. My whole life is going to be great. I can only expect great things. I'm like, wow. When I use my platform, I just talk about what's on my heart. If you've sat down and taken something good out of a dark scenario, I feel like it's always 
of, of a benefit to someone else to talk about that. So that's why I go on my Twitter and I might say, yeah, boom, boom, boom. And then someone tweeting back like, oh, I needed that today. You never know how far it's going to reach. When I'm like really low, like I take my dog for a walk. Getting a dog, full stop. That helped me. <laughs> I went and got a puppy and it was great. I like leave my phone at home and I just go outside, being outside in nature and just having time for myself to think. That has really helped me. You can't stop. You have to keep going. That's the only way you get through anything you're going through. It's that simple. Yeah. Mm. And find someone that you can talk to, that you can say, I'm having a bad day. If you know someone who's going through a horrible time, just be next to them and hang out with them rather than asking them what's wrong because eventually they will confide in you. And it won't come round and go, cheer up, because no one wants to be told to cheer. It's like the most useless piece of advice ever. I've not asked you to fix me, I've just told you something. Now bear with me and let me tell you why I'm unhappy yeah. before you tell me to cheer so up. when someone's angry and you go, calm down. <laughs> I'm not oh. going to calm down. It's worse when you're not even angry and a man's telling you oh calm down. That's, that's a whole different, that's a whole different. Okay, my black card says, what's your hype song? There's one song throughout your entire life that if your mind is blank, it always pops into your head. Do you guys have that? Yeah, Barbie Girl. <laughs> is it actually? What? It's so dread. It's it's so yeah. Cool. Mine is, turn down for what? Mine was more like your thing, yeah? You know the Thomas the Tank Engine theme song? <laughs> you know the do 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 Hey, that rhythm's hard. I like how you put the little N O V D D D in there. Hey, your turn. Christmas number one, maybe. For the guests to your left, quick fire. Rice or chips? Chips. Fongs or granny pants? Your mum's in the audience, Fongs, bro. Fongs, blood. Fongs. g uh, Hands for feet or feet for hands? Hands for feet, because oh, monkey have got hands for feet. And, right, and cool. they can do bare things. All right. <laughs> Ripped or dad bod? <laughs> Ripped. Oh, OK. <laughs> Cardi or Nikki? Ooh. I'm not involved. Oh, you've got to have an answer. Nikki B. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, for the guest to your left, win or bin? Cats. Win. Veganism. Bin. <laughs> 80s music. Win. It has to be win. Yeah. Me and you would have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what PDA is. Public something. display of affection. So difficult, because it's 99.9% .9 of the time bin, but then there's like... Is it? Yeah, no, we're not no, like... I, no, hold on, hold on. No one's asking you to smash Smoking. in public. Smash him, huh? well, No, wow. but that's not like... That's not, that's not PDA, that's the next thing. That's, that's PDA, that's PDA. That's, that's P-O-R-M. P-O-R-M. All right, it says naturists. Naturists? It's how we were born, man. PDA is bin, but naturists is win. You lot are backwards, bruv. I'm just being a little bit provocative, you know what I mean? Well, too much. Right. OK. Um, I like emerald, because emeralds are green, and I'm green too. Emerald sat next to Sasha Keeble. I don't write poems, I write raps. I'm honest, it's PG sitting next to novelist. There we go. What was the god? It said spit bars about the other guests. Ooh. The booth will rate your skills. You I missed that one. I ain't freestyled in. What, what were we saying, what? out of 10? That was there and then. <laughs> I'll give that a 10 because, do you know why it's a 10? He didn't even tell us what the card yeah, said. It's true. And he just went into it. Still got it. <laughs> Who do you think deserves more credit than what they get? I'm gonna go Little Sims. Yeah. Because I'm here for that. I just, absolutely. I think the first time I heard her, I was just absolutely blown away. And I thought, how is this person not on a level with the greatest rappers of all time? Win or bin. Okay. Feminism. Win. Erotic fiction. Win. Win. <laughs> Soy milk. Bin. Oat Thank milk. you. Oat milk all the all way. The way. Mm. Soy tastes horrible. Yes. Madonna's eye patch. I say win, you know. Oh. Fair play. Do no, not thing, Madam girl. X. Who do you think you are, Bob? Your turn. Okay. If you could swap lives with anyone, who would it be? I'd actually want to be my cat. I've seen my cat do some G'd up things for like, <laughs> how did you decide that you're gonna do that? Do you get yeah. me? Honestly, I talk to my dog on a daily basis and I just go, if you just tell me that you love me, I won't tell anyone that you spoke. <laughs> <laughs>
I just need to know that you love me. She just looks at me and she's like, not today, bitch. <laughs> Tell us your booth truth. This is for all of us. It's things you live your life by. Mine's really simple. And it's just don't be shit. <laughs> There's always so much pressure on people to be great. You know what I mean? Just don't be shit. Mine's a serious one as well. I learnt this from a man who once came into the pub where I was working at for a very long time. He was like, all right, I'll give you one word of advice. You never know what you want to do till you've done what you don't want to do. I can't lie, every day right now, I'm just like, cool, if I can get through today, I can get through tomorrow. It might be a struggle, but I'll get there. My thing is, always remember, yeah, that eagles fly and chickens fray. <laughs> that is mad. <laughs> 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 <laughs>